Oh wow. Um, it's from uh, inspiration, influence, which could come from anything, could come from um, uh, travel, could come from um, what you're wearing, it could come from um, anything. You know, I say to my, sometimes it, it could be, I was saying to someone the other day, I saw this guy about two years ago in a t-shirt, that inspired a collection for me. Yes, I saw him on King's Way. I was in my car, it was a distance, but I grabbed my camera, took a picture, and I sort of reworked that into, it could be anything. So it usually is, you know, I could be watching something. I could read something and I'm, it could be um, culture, which has influenced a lot, a lot of what we do, um, be it a tribe, or, or it could be uh, me reminiscing about, you know, um, growing up or just anything. Um, and, and of course, you know, from inspiration um, comes my, put it in my inspiration down on paper. So I'm, I'm sketching away um, and uh, yeah, I'm sketching, adding and, and, and taking away. And, and, and also, you know, I have muses in my head. I have people who I would like to see, who I feel really embody all that Jewel by Lisa is, Lisa Falario is. And I visualize them and I, I sometimes wonder how they would wear something, how they would style something. That helps me with my design process. Um, I sketch, I pass over my sketches. If you want it really, this is the practical um, to the illustrator who does better sketches than I do, I confess. And, um, and she, she would sketch and we both from one design can come up with three, four, five. Um, and from that we uh, start to make um, the calico pieces which are not the actual pieces and see how it's working and we do fit-ins and then also even in the process of that in all of that um, because of whatever I'm inspired by that also inspires my prints because for the Lisa Folario collection especially I design um, prints uh, to go with the the inspiration behind the collection so all those things are being done then um, color um, you know you know everything so we, we go through our forms uh, silhouettes um, the cuts um, what is the detail we're very strong on detail Joe by Lisa we're like you know as simple as a dress may be it can just fall straight but there must be something is it in the darting of the dress? Is it in, you know, how you cut the back or a sleeve or a neckline? Or we add on detail. Um, everybody knows that one of the first things that we started doing at Jewel by Lisa was the embellishment. It's here to stay. But then we, we tend to find different forms of embellishment that sort of work with what I'm saying through the collection. Um, with the Jewel by Lisa collection, um, or, or line, it's usually uh, reworking the Ankara fabric and reinterpreting it into modern design and aesthetic and the embellishment is always in play, um, sometimes more than, than um, sometimes more in some designs than others. Um, yeah, so, I mean, this is, this is the process, but it usually is in my head. Like I see it from start to finish and then we just, execute all the different steps and, and, and then we see it in its entirety and in its beauty and in its glory and sometimes not in its not so much glory and we say no that's not happening you know but that's that's how it works literally really for me you know because I have my brain, I have my mind, I am inspired by what I am inspired by, I have my interpretation of certain things. I doubt that anyone can do it exactly the way I do it. And I feel that that is my strength. So I'm not trying to be different. I'm not, I feel like I am different anyway, because you're not me, I'm not you. You know, I think that that's, that's it. And I think because we focus on us as a brand and the growth of our brand. And for me, I focus on, you know, new design and new ways of, um, talking the Jew by Lisa talk, it, it has to be different, yeah.